CBO's updated budget projections confirmed what we all knew, that the economic disruption caused by COVID-19 and the federal government's response have led to a surge in deficits and debt. In response to the pandemic and the ensuing lockdowns, we came together on a bipartisan basis to enact the largest relief package in United States history. We worked to alleviate the financial devastation, and it helped, but at great cost. Deficit spending in the national debt was unsustainable before the pandemic. We must address it before it becomes the next historic crisis or prohibits future policymakers from dealing with future emergencies. COVID-19 and the government response to it are not the root of the cause of our long-term budget problem. Nevertheless, that does not mean we should continue to spend with impunity. While additional measures to combat the virus and help struggling families and businesses may be necessary, we cannot use this crisis to justify multi-trillion dollar wish lists that have little or nothing to do with the pandemic. We cannot continue running trillion dollar annual deficits forever. The longer we wait, the more severe the challenges and challenges will be and the fewer options we have. Uh, right now, the interest on the federal debt are at historic lows, even negative on an inflation adjusted basis. I read some claim that means that debt and deficits don't matter. Is that true? Uh, no, no, sir. We, we would say that they still matter, that the low interest rates, of course, are reducing the, the cost of servicing the debt. But over time, as the economy recovers, as we get past the pandemic, and as the debt rises, we expect interest rates to rise and, and uh, the cost of servicing the debt will become more challenging.